I'm working on restoring and modifying this barbecue dragon offset smoker. It's straight from the 1980s. Today I'm doing the insulate the firebox thing. Now of course this doesn't compare to a manufactured fully insulated firebox, but it will greatly improve heat retention. It helps with the temperature distribution. It increases fuel efficiency and it provides faster heat recovery like whenever the lid is open. And then these insulated fire bricks can actually extend the life of your smoker by protecting the wear and tear. Now I don't hold out to be any kind of an expert on fire bricks but I have done some research and this is what I found. Not all fire bricks have insulating qualities and I've noticed there's several videos where Rutland fire bricks have been installed in the firebox but Rutland fire bricks do not insulate. They radiate the heat. This type of fire brick may be better suited when used as a heat sink inside the cooking chamber. And that's exactly what I did. I added some Rutland fire bricks inside the cooking chamber toward the stack end to even out the temperatures across the pit. Some of you fire brick guys out there, you can hit me up in the comments let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, what you think I could have improved on, what I could have done better. Today I'm using Proto-Well wood stove fire bricks. These are vermiculite bricks. They're very easy to cut. They are insulating fire bricks. Now we can start off by laying them out in the fire box. I decided to cut several of these bricks bricks in half because I wanted to stagger the seams and my plan included cutting the bricks with my table saw and there's probably a blade that's perfect for making these cuts but what I chose to try was reusing an old saw blade one that's kind of worn out but I mounted it backward guys I'm not saying this is the way to do this all I know is that it worked like a charm might work for you just as well it might even work when it's mounted for the correct blade rotation I'll never know I don't know how hard it is to to cut clay fire bricks, but cutting the vermiculite bricks, it couldn't be easier. On the top row, I ripped off a few inches so it would accommodate these bars that hold up the grate in the firebox. Extra bricks were used to close up as much as possible of the firebox throat because it's believed that this open throat area is way too large on this particular pit. Now I'm gonna have to test it out before I make any other major changes. And once again, guys, please let me know what you think about this. Be sure to pass on any tips or tricks that's worked well for you concerning insulating that firebox. All right, there's only one thing left to do, and that's hit that like button on your way out. Consider subscribing, and I hope to see you next time at Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. <laughs>